Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. This video is the process video of how I prepared and attached the mane and the tail to Gypsy Rose, making the transformation complete. First things first, get some um, dishwashing detergent in that tub of warm water to um, get all that messy hair in there and wash it. Once washed, I had no other place but to just drape it over the railing of the veranda and um, in the hope that it wasn't going to fly away. And as you can see, it dried pretty good and I've separated um, short pieces um, from the long pieces. And what I've done here, I've just grabbed small sections of the length of the mane that I was after and glued them um, with hot glue but I used a little strip of silicon mat um, to fold over and um, glue it really together without burning my fingers. And here you can see it's complete and it's um, all sort of um, packed in and it'll be easy for me um, to put in the slot. And as you can see, because this horse is, was made in two parts, it did have a slot for the mane and of course it didn't come with the mane so it was pretty easy for me to then um, put all mane back but making sure that I glued it into sections for me to do it. It was a lot easier that way. And here you can see um, all the mane's in so that part's all finished. And with the tail, um, what I've done is I've bunched it all up to the amount that I wanted and put a very tight um, rubber band around it and then pushed it um, through the hole that was there from the previous tail and just put a little bit of glue inside. Now this picture here just shows you of the full harness that I still have to make um, but um, at the moment I've only made the halter part for a Gypsy Rose and of course the halter will turn into a bridle and then the bridle into a full harness to be able to um, tow the wagon. I used another fancy belt um, that I was able to get from a thrift store and I cut it up to size and I used um, tacky glue because um, it also glues together leather. I've actually kept the buckle part of the belt to be able to uh, buckle up that halter. I use, I use these fancy little um, pieces, um, they came off another belt and um, I love using these on horses and you'll see where I've used it. Now um, the mane, the tail, the halter is done. I had a bit of change of plans. I had to repaint the legs. Here you'll see some more markings um, just between the front chest of the horse. More of that lovely flowing mane. This is the last slide, the process video of um, attaching the mane and tail to Gypsy Rose. So you'll have to hop over to the next video um, which I've actually taken outside because it was a beautiful afternoon and you'll be able to appreciate um, just the beauty of her now in full size instead of just on my craft table.